once again we've got a foggy morning on the river this is pretty common in the fall because the water is still warm the air temperature is cooling off and that's where you get your fog from so I always enjoy getting out in the fog unless I have to cross a river that I worry about barges in the past I've never seen a barge travel in the fog until yesterday morning luckily I wasn't crossing the river but I could hear it, it churning up a river couldn't see it it was so foggy and a little bit later it came back down the river pushing one barge and it was blowing its horn I guess because it either couldn't see or didn't have the equipment to navigate so it was sounding its horn every little bit going down the river and they do have radar that will detect objects in the water and some of them have equipment that can communicate with other boats so they can detect other boats that have it but still it's a little risky traveling in the fog but after he went down I'm going to show you a little clip of when he came back up the river and typically I worry about the wind more than anything to get out on the Ohio white caps when it's 15 20 mile an hour wind it's tough to paddle a kayak but you got to watch out for the barges too and we'll roll this little video clip here of some monster waves that this tug, he, he wasn't pushing any barges, it was just a tug, and he had her going full tilt back up the river. And he was so in waves that you would see at the ocean. They had tubes on the ends of them and crashing on the shore. Luckily, I wasn't sifting or had my boat kayak turned sideways. Because if I had, he could have swamped me. I was able to point the bow right in the direction of the wave and just ride him out, but it's still pretty cool. Here's the clip. Big barge waves. That dude was flying. As you can see from that little clip, it would be easy to get swamped if you had your kayak turned sideways. Those waves would break right over top of you and fill your kayak full of water. And a lot of times when I tie up on the bank, my kayak will drift sideways. I'd end up having to dump it, the water out because it would have been full after that wave would have hit it. Got the first broken point of the day. Nice little base, don't have the tip on it. You can see it right there. It looks like the base of a big sandy with those squared off corners on the base. It would have been a nice little point, just a clean break there. Bottom's been ground. Real nice notches on that one. And it's a shame it didn't have the tip. Well, I'm going to keep sifting and see if I can find another one. Okay, I believe we have a piece of hematite laying right here in the water's edge. Get you down here where you can see it. Right there. Yep, a piece of faceted hematite. See the facets right there and there? All, looks like all the sides just about have been rubbed. Another artifact. Got some sort of a large worked piece in here. It looks like maybe a preform or something that they had started working on right here. This big piece. See the cortex right there on it. Kind of got a rough shape. A little bit of working around the edges. <laughs> kind of a long ways away from being a good artifact. I'll take it. Got another point in here. It's not the best point in the world, but it looks to me like it's somewhat of a point right there, that black thing. Get some of that mud off of it. Not 
a very good base on it. Definitely worked around the edges. Kind of looks like they were making a point out of it. It's still an artifact. Not the best point in the world, but I'll take it. I don't see anything else in the screen. So we'll dump this one and get another screen. Just pulled over on this beach to check out all this rock that's laying along the bank here. It looks like a pitted stone maybe right there. Looks like it's got a pit in it, so let's pull it. So, yep, got one on the back side too. That's a nice little pitted stone. Get some of that mud off of it. Sweet, nice little artifact. Got a nice little pit both sides. I'm gonna look around here and see what else I can find. Here's a quick wrap up of today's hunts. Didn't find a really great artifact but found a number of different things got that preform kind of an odd looking material but it's been worked all around snapped right there at this point kind of a crude point not sure what they were trying to make out of that one and of course got this base small little point real thin that had been a nice point had it been whole because that base is in good shape it's got some grinding on it three pieces of pottery didn't film those there's that piece of faceted hematite you can see where it's been rubbed that side and right there it's got some facets on it and a couple of pitted stones that one's got a small pit right there but the bottom's flat been worked flat and then pitted and this is a neat little one nice little hole on both sides of it not sure if they were using it as a hammer stone or not, but it's got pitting on both sides. Didn't film this one, but it's got a hole pitted in, a depression pitted into it. So, a bunch of various different artifacts. Not one that none of them are really great artifacts, but I like these stones, especially this little, that little one. It's kind of cool. So, had a great day. It's really great weather for being out on the river today enjoyed the trip out even if I didn't find one single good find just a bunch of average finds so that'll be it for this wrap up thanks for watching